According to the North Carolina Department of Transportation, more than 1,700, or about 13% of the bridges across North Carolina are considered structurally deficient. Now, the state considers them safe, but they're in poor condition and will likely need to be replaced. But have you ever wondered who examines our bridges? Well, it's an expert trained in what's called non-destructive examination, or NDE, and it doesn't require a four-year degree. As Carolina Impact's Jason Terzas reports, it's a high-demand career that offers great income potential. America's national highway system, a network of more than 160,000 miles of roads and nearly 56,000 bridges, but it's a system that's aging and quickly decaying. More than 25% of bridges in the United States are at least 50 years old, structurally deficient, and in dire need of major reconstruction or replacement. It's gotten so bad some people poke fun at it, but it's no laughing matter. We protect people's lives. You know, We make sure airplanes are safe. We make sure nuclear plants are safe. We make sure bridges and construction are safe. Always striving to be the leader in workforce development, Central Piedmont Community College is doing its part to help America's aging infrastructure. The non-destructive examination program, which launched in 2007 with one classroom and four students, today occupies a 7,000 square foot facility at CPCC's Harper campus. Students work towards an associate's degree in non-destructive examination, which tests the inside of a material, component, or system without causing damage. We have to make sure our planes don't fall out of the sky, our bridges don't collapse, our pipelines don't rupture. At CPCC, students learn from instructors who've had years of experience in the industry. Rand Ernst worked in aviation, paper mills, and nuclear plants, and spent nine years at the Kennedy Space Station working on the space shuttle program. So I've got to sit in you know, on the left seat of all those shuttles and go vroom, vroom. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Rodney Stevens is in his first semester teaching at Central Piedmont after spending 30 years in construction as a business owner and in non-destructive testing. One week I could be looking at uh, corrosion mapping on a pipeline up in Prudhoe Bay in uh, the north slope of Alaska. And uh, a couple of weeks later, I might be in Los Angeles looking at the reentry heat shield on the prototype for the next manned spacecraft. And John Berg spent 30 years in the electronics industry doing circuit board manufacturing. But in 2008, when the economy went south, he lost his job. That's when he signed up for classes at CPCC. The state offered me unemployment if I retrained, re retooled. So I said, that's a no-brainer. John earned his NDE certificate in 2010 and was then approached by college administrators. So they said, hey, would you would like to work with us, help our students, um, maintain our equipment? I said, sounds great to me. Together, the instructors teach students the six different methods of non-destructive examination testing. Visual inspection, ultrasonic, which uses sound waves to detect internal flaws, eddy current, which uses electromagnetic currents, liquid penetrant, which helps locate surface defects, magnetic particle, which is a magnetic dust that gravitates towards flaws, and radiography, which is basically an x-ray. We actually have a little defect that's in this particular well. The radiograph will show that, and we can actually bring it right down so you can see right where that defect is. We provide the classroom training to, uh, th that's prescribed by uh, ASNT, the American Society of Non-Destructive Testing. Enrolled students come from a wide array of backgrounds. Larry Joseph served four years in the U.S. Army. He then took a job working security, but found it boring. So he's now working towards his associate's degree in NDE. Didn't really want to sit in a cubicle or anything like that and just be stagnant. And also this kind of relates to the military because you have to really pay attention to your measurements and look and be very uh, attentive to detail. Fellow NDE student Zachary Bays is also a veteran, having served in the U.S. Navy. He's already earned an associate's in welding and is working for a NASCAR Xfinity racing team. I install the seats, I do a lot of the finished fab work and a lot of the welding there. Okay. So I can take what I learned in the welding and transfer it over to an NDE so when I do a weld on the chassis of the car, I can look at it and be like, okay, is that a good weld? Is that a safe weld? And be able to understand better what I'm looking at for the quality of my welds. The NDE program was approved by the Naval Shipyard in Norfolk, Virginia as a center of excellence. So far, they've hired three CPCC graduates and are coming back for more. The people that do have our students and that do hire our graduates 
usually will come back, they repeat customers saying, oh, these guys know what they're doing. The best part for students is knowing that a job in the industry likely awaits them. The college has a 90% placement rate. What's happening is there's an awful lot of guys that are my age that are now retiring, getting out of the business, and no one's ever heard of non-destructive testing. No, so we don't have any young kids getting into it. There's a real shortage of people out there. People are screaming for graduates right now, trained graduates. Most graduates who enter the industry typically start out between $17 and $22 an hour, and that's with no experience. Those who gain experience in the field and become a level two technician typically earn $25 to $30 an hour. Depending on what you do, you can actually get a level three after like five years of experience, and it, you're kind of a supervisor, and it, it's not common to make uh, 90000 uh, $100,000 a year. Between America's aging infrastructure and aging workforce in non-destructive examination, there's a void that needs to be filled. Trained workers are desperately needed. NDE is a job and career of the present and of the future. For Carolina Impact, I'm Jason Terzis reporting. Thanks so much, Jason.